challenge is an engineering design challenge. We have students participate in multiple divisions in teams. And so what they do is they solve a real world problem and they actually have to build a solution to that problem. To be human means to have the ability to solve problems in innovative ways, whether you're rich or whether you're poor. This is a basic human desire, a basic human capacity. Every year we have a completely different topic. For example, last year it was renewable energy was really big. This year our challenge is going to be earthquake related. The great thing about Tech Challenge is that not only do you get to envision kind of this awesome thing and solve a real world problem, but you get to actually build it and then see if it works. To see that they can create something that can make an impact in the world is such a powerful thing for kids. And they're really life skills for them. I mean, they're learning how to construct things, they're learning how to fix things. Among the things that are great about the Tech Challenge is that there are very low barriers to entry. It's inexpensive to get involved. It will appeal to you if you happen to be a young woman. It'll appeal to you if you happen to be a young man. It is as democratic as possible, and because of that, people from all over the community want to get involved and actually succeed. They can participate through their school, after school programs. A lot of them, you know, they do it with their friends, with their neighbors. We also work with a lot of partners, schools, after school programs, community centers. The Third Street Community Center focuses on educating children. We developed our Young Engineers program around the Tech Challenge. Most of the kids who come to the Third Street Community Center are English language learners. And they are children of immigrants. A lot of them are the first in their family to want to go to college and they go through a judging process. So an interview where they talk about you know, their process, what they've done, they bring their engineering journal because they have to document everything they've done, and then they have device performance, which is where they actually show their device. Then we give out all sorts of prizes from best overall first place to most spectacular failure. Well, failure is not that bad. It just means you gotta try harder, <laughs> you gotta try again. And when they discover their ability to solve problems, maybe they also have a little bit more creative confidence to keep on keeping on and say, hey, I could do that for a living and maybe stay in school or maybe start a business. 